Hey guys and welcome to Wild Dish. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a non-alcoholic cocktail. Uh, today we'll be making a grapefruit and elderflower muddle. A uh, really lovely recipe, it's clean tasting, it's light and it's delicious. Now I'm definitely not a cocktail expert which is why I've got the lovely Kieran here who's going to be showing us how to make one. He's a mixologist and also happens to be my boyfriend. Thank you very much for having me. Right, okay. First things first, chopping board and sharp knife. Okay. Straight down the middle. So, nails in. One, two, and flip them around. Three, we're good to go. So, into eights. Into eights, exactly. This will make us enough for two of our drinks. Beautiful. Like a pro. Excellent work. Wonderful. So, we'll do the exact same thing now with the grapefruit, okay? Do they have to be exactly even? Absolutely not. Okay, That's part I of the fun of it. <laughs> this one's really small. That's all right. <laughs> okay, so next, what we have here, we have our cocktail shaker. Ingredients need to go in here. Mm -hmm. First things first, could you squeeze four of the limes into our shaker, please? Get the juice really in there, squeeze them right in. Beautiful. So, for two drinks, we'll do the exact same with two of the grapefruits. Great job. I feel like there's a lot going in. Is it going to fit? I think it'll be absolutely fine. Okay. Right, so next, this gives us the base. This is what's giving us the acidity to our drink, is what gives you that salivating, mouth-watering desire to have another sip at the end. So now what we're gonna do, a little bit of sweetness to it. We've got our elderflower. How much do we need? Uh, you're looking at about 25 milliliters, so why don't you add a little dash and I'll say when. Okay. Is that okay? That looks perfect. Okay, let's add some ice. The idea of this, we shake our cocktail as hard as we can, one, to mix all the ingredients in there, also to get our base liquid, liquid as cold as we possibly can too. Okay. And in the meantime, could I ask a favour? Yeah. Would you please load our two service glasses with ice as well? So. Do you want to go? Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do it as elegantly as you. <laughs> excellent, excellent work. Is that enough? I'd take it a bit more. Okay. Perfect. We've got our mixture in there, and now what we do, if you'd like to help me out, pour... So the idea behind shaking it as hard as we did was to mix all the juices and fruits in there too, okay? We'll make the drink a little bit longer, add some sparkling water or soda. Okay, thank you. And this is obviously keeping it really like light and exactly. fresh. Really, really refreshing. As I said before, acidity is really high in this drink. You're looking at something that's making you salivate, it's making you want to have another sip, it's making you want to make more for your friends. All the way to the top? All the way to the top, but bear in mind we've got some cucumber and mint to go in there too, okay? okay. Perfect. So now the important part is making it look beautiful, making okay. the drink garnished. There we go. Beautiful. You're good to go. So you can serve with a spoon if you've got crushed ice, or you can serve with straws if they're at your dinner party. Grapefruit and elderflower muddles. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Mmm. So nice. Delicious, isn't it? Really fresh. How many could you have? Ten. Ten. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Ten. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking here. And for more cocktail recipes with Kieran and I, check them out here. And I will see you next time.